Good day Grade 11s, so welcome to week 35. We're carrying on with statistics and today we're going to be looking at symmetrical and skewed data and outliers. So basically in the last lesson you learned how to do box and whisker diagrams and in this lesson we're going to be analyzing that data. So data is determined to be symmetrical or skewed relative to the median. So if we look at this box and whisker diagram and we see that this here is the median and we compare the data with relative to the median. So if the data is skewed predominantly to the right of the median, we say the data is skewed to the right. So in other words, if this bit is much bigger than that little bit, if Q3 is further away from Q, from Q2 or the median than Q1 is, then we say the data is skewed to the right. What that means is that more of the data is lying to the right of the median than the thing. Please understand we're not looking at the whiskers, we're only looking at the majority of this data which is in the box. If the data is skewed to the left, in other words, what we're saying is that the data is found predominantly to the left of the median. That means that most of the data is on this side of the median and we say the data is skewed to the left. Now let's talk about the whiskers. If the largest number in the data set is far removed from the bulk of the data, then we call this number an outlier. So yeah, we've got our box and whisker diagram and do you see this number over here is far away from this. This here is about 11 and that there is, looks like 18. So that is quite far away. So we call that an outlier. An outlier result in a long whisker. And grade 11s, that's it when it comes to box and whisker diagrams and outliers. You just need to understand if you've got a long whisker, it's an outlier. And if your data is skewed is very much bigger, lots more, the box is much bigger on this side of the median. In other words, there's a big gap between the median and Q1. We say the data is skewed to the left. If, we, if the gap between the Q3 and Q2 is much bigger than Q2 and I mean Q1 in the median, then we say the data is skewed to the right. And that's it. Please make sure you understand that and then go and practice some box and whisker diagrams. Have a great day.